How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Now Shinji Hashimoto, the creator of Kingdom Hearts, revealed to us the opening of 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. Now this was shown during Paris Games Week on October 27th. If you guys don't know, 0.2 a fragmentary passage is going to be part of 2.8 which is planned on getting released on January 24th, 2017. Now before Hashimoto revealed the opening, people put up three fingers and were like, we want Kingdom Hearts 3 news, we want Kingdom Hearts 3 news, come on. But no, Hashimoto was like, nah, you'll have to wait until after after the release of 2.8. Now series director Tetsuya Nomura said the same thing that we weren't gonna get any news until after the release of 2.8. But that's not really the case, he did actually reveal to us two screenshots of Kingdom Hearts 3, and it has to do with the drive forms, yes, they have been confirmed. If you guys haven't seen the video I made on those, maybe you'd like to check it out, I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, now about this opening. Some parts of it were shown in the TGS trailer that was revealed a short while ago. In that trailer, in the TGS trailer, it was part CGI and was part gameplay, it was a mix of everything. So for this opening, pretty much, it it's extended CGI cutscenes and everything flows pretty well this time. Well, it's a CGI opening we're talking about, they're gonna show everything in CGI. But what I meant to say is that the CGI parts of the TGS trailer are all extended and they flow a lot better. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, the opening starts off with water. And I'm assuming this water is from Destiny Islands. It looks gorgeous. When I saw the water guys, I got hyped up. Yes, I know, it's just water, but the water looks great. Makes me want to go on vacation. Anyways, I know it's not a Kingdom Hearts 3 opening. But it's still something new, it's a new opening we're talking about. I mean, we're so used to the CGI ones from the PlayStation 2 and PSP. The CGI on the PlayStation 4 is just impressive. All characters look absolutely great. Now, people who are not even familiar with the Kingdom Hearts series and when they saw this, they got fascinated. Well, probably due to Mickey, but the trailer itself, the opening, I keep saying trailer, it looks fantastic. Alright guys, I know the opening is brand new, it's brand new footage we're talking about, but I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm not gonna analyze the whole thing. I'm just gonna go over the new stuff we noticed quick quick. Okay, three wayfinders in the water, that's new, we haven't seen that in the TGS trailer. It then transitions to scenes we saw in BBS, during the BBS opening I mean. It's kinda like a throwback to the early days. I really like the picture we see in the wayfinders, that's a little cool detail Square Enix added. Next, we move on to Kingdom Hearts 2's secret ending, and it's very brief, nothing much is shown. Next, we see Aqua's wayfinder in the water and then ending up in her hand. It looks quite nice, the whole scenery looks nice. Notice this small detail guys. When the Wayfinder is falling, it's nighttime, and when it lands on her hand, it's daytime. Like I said before, it's a throwback to the early days, to the scene in BBS when she was handing out the Wayfinders to Ventus and Terra. And now we notice the land of departure in full daylight. Okay, in the TGS trailer, when I saw the grass, I was fascinated, okay? Now seeing land of departure, fully, I just got excited. I mean, the place looks absolutely nice. You know what? The whole opening is itself is fantastic. I'm not gonna be like, this looks nice, that looks nice. Everything in this opening looks fantastic, that's it. Okay guys, is it just me or does Land of Departure look destroyed? Look at the pillars in the back, they all look deformed or I don't know. Now Xehanort did destroy Land of Departure in Birth by Sleep, it could represent that, but in full daylight this time. Aqua smiling, she's looking all happy, cute, it's a very cute moment, but then poof, Ventus and Terra disappear and we've seen this scene in the TGS trailer, it's sad. The whole opening is just adorable and sad at the same time. Now this scene right here where we see Vanitas and Terra from their back, this was shown in the TGS trailer. Now the scene right here, it looks absolutely nice. Okay. <laughs> The whole opening looks nice, okay? The scenery, to see the whole environment in CGI, it's great. And it kind of reminds us of Harry Potter, the Death Eaters, doesn't it? I mean, was Square Enix inspired when they were working on this opening? Who knows? Okay, next thing we notice is the castle. At first, I wondered what this castle was. It is the Castle of Dreams, but at first, I thought this had something to do with Kingdom Hearts 3, maybe hinting towards the world we haven't seen yet, but no, it's Castle of Dreams. I really like the cool effect they added to the opening, the orb surrounding the castle and the castle turning all dark. The whole environment surrounding the castle. This is what Kingdom Hearts has come to. It looks great. Have we actually seen a world completely in CGI? I don't think so. To see this for the first time is like, wow. Next, these dark orbs proceed to the throne room, and if we count them all, we count 13. It represents the 13 darknesses. Pretty simple, right? Then the scene transitions to the one we've seen in the TGS trailer. It's a fully extended scene this time. It's a fighting scene. It looks beautiful, okay? I'm not saying it's beautiful seeing Aqua fighting with her friends. Just the whole animation and stuff, the cool lighting effects, the red glows, the keyblades clashing, the amount of detail on the keyblades, everything looks great. We have Terranort, Terra possessed by Xehanort, he casts these dark auras. The same 
same auras we saw in the battle between Aqua and Terranort in Birth by Sleep. Aqua falling to the ground. That look on her face. It's so sad. We have Vanitas possessing Ventus. However, notice the blue eyes. Usually, Vanitas fused with Ventus, we see yellow eyes. Okay, maybe this scene might represent something, Ventus having more control over his body or something like that. But maybe it might be just a simple mistake. Terranort with his white eyebrows. That's pretty much it. Now a light shines down on them. Boom, we see Sora's dive into the heart. Okay, and the TGS trailer. There was a lot of discussion going on whether or not the dive into the heart we saw was Roxas's. This time we have a more clear answer. Look, Vanitas Ventus is standing right there. Sora's dive into the heart might simply represent Sora. Sora saving everyone in Kingdom Hearts 3. And about Sora, there's something in the ending of this opening. If you guys have seen the opening, you know what I'm talking about. But guess what? It's not Sora that shows up. It's Mickey. Mickey did meet Aqua in the Realm of Darkness. And the main question we all have is why Mickey left Aqua in the Realm of Darkness. No one knows and maybe we'll find out in 0.2. But we see Mickey coming out of that light. It could simply represent the connection Mickey has with Sora in Kingdom Hearts 2. And for his outfit, he's wearing the one he wore in Birth by Sleep. And once Mickey helps Aqua, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, the backgrounds especially. It looks like glass shattering and kind of represents freeing them. Vanitas and Terranort, at one point they bump into each other and it looks like they're being set free. We can slightly notice it. Okay, this scene right here. It's the best scene out of all openings I've seen so far in the series. It's simply adorable, yet it's sad. She lost her friends, she's stuck in the realm of darkness, seeing them all happy reunited again, it's sweet. Then Xehanort, boom, messes up everything, and Aqua's alone again, all sad. This right here is kinda like the scene we got in the secret ending in Kingdom Hearts 2, where Aqua casts Reflect on Terra, but this time she does the same for Ventus. Alright, for this last scene, the Wayfinder falls in the dark. It can represent Aqua falling in the realm of darkness, all alone. But she did meet Mickey and Ansem at one point. Wait a minute, did I say this is the final scene? It's not the last scene. The last scene is the one that pretty much got everyone hyped up. Notice the reflection in her eyes. It's Sora. Plus we see his hand pop out. And this could simply represent Sora saving everyone in Kingdom Hearts 3, including Aqua. But will it be truly Sora who will find Aqua in the Realm of Darkness? Are we going to explore the Realm of Darkness in Kingdom Hearts 3? Or could it be possible that Aqua might end up on Destiny Islands? Some Somehow, there's one thing I was wondering about. Since we see Sora, his hand, does this mean that there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts 3 teaser in 0.2? Maybe like a secret ending? A small intro? What do you guys think about that? Okay, before I end the video, I want to go over two things. This scene right here reminds us of the scene where Aerith is trying to reach out to Cloud. And about Sora's glove. Now, in one of the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers, we did see Sora wearing his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. But, in the newer trailers, we see his new outfit. Could it be possible that Sora could rescue Aqua before he gets his new outfit? What do you think? Other than that, I'm gonna end the video right here. If you have any thoughts or anything like that, leave it in the comment section below. And guys, I've been Vivi and thanks for watching.